Well, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, Port Labaca, where all the Juneteenth stuff's happening this weekend. Uh, <clears throat> shall we just say we have to dress accordingly and get ready for almost uh, no kind of break in the humidity. Right now, we're about 92, but with the humidity, it feels like 106. Uh, so that's the problem. The other thing you've been probably noticing that's been kind of hazy. Well, when we have an unstable sky, when, you know, thunderstorms build up, we have beautiful blue skies because the atmosphere is unstable. Air rises up. Right now, uh, we have very stable skies uh, and therefore everything's sinking. So basically it's moisture, humidity and dust and pollution and all that. But it's not your imagination. It's a little a little hazy out there. Uh, looking at temperatures uh, at 87 down in Port O'Connor. Not bad. 92 for Victoria, but inland areas like Gonzalez and Carn City are running at 97. Uh, of course, they don't have the humidity we do, but they also have a lot more uh, uh, temperatures that are going to be above 100 over the next few days. All the big stuff is actually occurring to the north and east of us. Uh, this is, of course, uh, of Louisiana right about here. Big thunderstorms have been firing and producing rain over much of the southeastern United States. And here's the funny part. They're very excited because they've been in a drought, so they're getting some beneficial rains, but they're also getting some um, hail and possible tornadoes. Hail has been the biggest factor where they've been getting a lot of hail. Of course, hail's not good for trees. I don't know if you've ever seen a hail storm that passes through. It strips all the leaves off the tree. It's really funny how that works. All of a sudden, you've got a tree and it's not, got no leaves on it because the hail came and blew it all away. Well, we just uh, putting out this heat advice for everybody. Uh, the first one is find air conditioning. If you don't know where it is, just go to the mall and walk around. Uh, avoid strenuous activities. I'm talking, you know, heavy activity, uh, working outdoors in a jackhammer or something like that. If you're driving a, you know, a truck, you're fine. If you're even riding uh, a lawnmower, uh, that's fine if you're getting some breeze blowing, but no wind, uh, isolated and high humidity is a problem. Wear light clothing, check out family members that you don't know what they're up to, see how they're up to, uh, get plenty of water. Watch for the heat cramps in the exhaustion and heat stroke and never leave your pets or people in the back seat of a car, especially under these kinds of situations. Well, 94 for us right about now. We take a look around the state and there's not a whole lot of relief in sight. You see 91 up in Dallas, 100 to 103 along the uh, Texas border. And these are the forecast highs for tomorrow. So we're expected to go up about two degrees and that's because pressure actually strengthens over us. And you notice how even Laredo will be at 110, 107 in Del Rio and up to 100 up in uh, the San Angelo is actually going to be at 105. Uh, yeah, all of us uh, basically from Waco South are under the heat advisory and that's Obviously, we've got to be concerned with the, uh, the oppressive heat up here. Northeast Texas and all the way east is where all the thunder showers are happening. And actually, their temperatures are being cooled down by the amount of rain po posing through the region. But remember, we have this bubble of high pressure on top of us. That's going to be there for quite some time, months, as a matter of fact. And until it moves, we're under a very, very uh, warm uh, weather situation. So for those of you in Port Lavaca, you get up at 82 in the morning. You'll be at 93 in the afternoon because of that sea breeze. For Cuero, you stop, uh, you stop, you uh, wake up at 80 degrees and get up to about 98 because a lot more sunshine inland. As you can see right about there, the alert day is on for tomorrow. It means everybody's going to be dealing with the heat. Uh, we'll stay hovering at 100, 101, 99, somewhere around there. But our heat index will be running at 110 for the next seven days. That's your seven-day forecast. I want to remind everybody we've got a QR code. Scan that with your phone and put Crossroads.